With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Here's Hoppy now with another new story. We call this adventure California Bust because that's exactly the way it was, as you'll soon find out. Everything started in the Buffalo Ridge Jail, where the law was holding young Tom Anders for the murder of Cleet Mapes. There were some of us who believed Tom was innocent, and for a time it looked as if we could prove it. That was why I'd gone to the jailhouse to buttonhole the sheriff. You mean that, Hoppy? California's really on the way here with evidence that'll clear Tom? He says it will, Sheriff. That's the message he sent me by Shorty Saunders. California's just coming in. He's been up on our north range for the last month or two. When it gets here, I hope we'll be taking Tom out of jail. Happy, I hope so, too. Yeah? Surprised to hear you say that, Sheriff. You're the man that arrested him. Well, because the evidence said I had to. Uh-huh. I still ain't seen no evidence says I was wrong, but just the same, I... Well, I don't know, Hoppy. When you've been a long dog, long as I have, you've got a feeling about these things. Sure, I know what you mean. But California better not fool around any getting here. Just one hour from now, i got to take Tom back over to the courthouse. Today's the day Judge Blackburn's going to pronounce sentence, you know. Yeah, I know. That's why I got here so fast. Yeah, the way Tom's had it figured, Hoppy, it was Barron rigged this charge against him. Oh, how's he figure that? Well, Cleet Mapes, the feller Tom's supposed to have killed, was one of Barron's line riders. The feller Tom says uh, never got along very well with Barron. Uh, Barron's been after that place of Tom's, hasn't he, Sheriff? Yeah. He cuts Barron off from the winter range. Tom's been refusing to sell it at Barron's price, and the way Tom figures, Barron decided the cheapest way to get his place would be to frame him for murder. Uh-huh. And you go along with that? Well, I don't know. All I know is it makes sense, kind of. And then there's this feeling I got that maybe Tom ain't guilty after all. I see. Besides, uh, well, I guess I'm feeling a little sorry for Tom on account of his brother, too. You mean Andy? Yeah, they've been on the out, you know, but Tom's been hoping this pixie's in and bring Andy around to side with him. So far, he's never showed up, though. And uh, Andy works for Baron, too, doesn't he? No, Hoppy. He used to. What's oh, that? Andy, what are you... <laughs> I mean that, Hoppy. He used to work for Baron. For my money's a crook, and I've told him so. Now I'm on Tom's side, just like you are. Good boy. You see, Hoppy, Cleet and me are pretty good friends. At first, I, I really figured Tom killed him. Oh, it's just like the sheriff here did. But since then, you know, things have happened, and I haven't noticed things, so... Well, anyhow, here I am. Uh, wait a second, Andy. Do you know anything that would prove Baron framed Tom? I'm sorry, Sheriff, but I don't. It's just that I've noticed things. Nothing that would do for evidence at all. Oh. Well, that's all right. As soon as California gets here, we'll clear this. Oh, oh I, I, I'm sorry, but well, that's the other reason I'm here, Hoppy. Huh? What do you mean? I was supposed to tell you... California's disappeared. Oh, Andy, he's you don't mean... Your bar 20 boy's been out looking for him, Hoppy. You see, California's horse showed up all alone without him, and, and now, well, now California just ain't to be found. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, California or Bust. It was just exactly at that moment when young Tom Anders expected California to arrive with a testimony that would clear him of a murder charge that he learned California had disappeared and couldn't be found. Soon afterwards, Tom was taken back to the local courtroom. And now he stands before Judge Blackburn, waiting to be sentenced. Order! Order in this court! Order! Now then... The jury has found the prisoner, Thomas Anders, guilty, and it's my duty to pass sentence. In judgment of this court... Just a I... minute, Your Honor. I think there's good reason why you shouldn't pass sentence at this time. And with Your Honor's permission, I'd like to tell you what that reason is. Order! 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 I demand order here. 
This is highly irregular, Mr. Cassidy, but this is a court of justice, not of technicalities. So if you have something to say that bears on this case, I'll be glad to hear it. Do you have? I do. Your Honor's acquainted with California Carlson? I know him. Yes, I might say I'm acquainted with him. What about it? Your Honor, he's disappeared. He was on his way here to give testimony I have reason to believe would have cleared Tom, but something's happened to him. I'm not accusing anyone of foul play, but I do move that sentence be deferred till he can be found. I protest that, Your Honor. Silence, 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 or I'll have this court cleared. Now then, on what grounds do you protest this request, Mr. Barron? On the grounds that this is just one of Cassidy's tricks to gain time to engineer a jailbreak. If you play into his hands, Your Honor... If I do, Mr. Barron, that will be a matter between me and my conscience and none of your affair. On the other hand, Mr. Cassidy, before I could delay sentence, I'd have to have some proof that Carlson's testimony would be of uh, the nature that you claim. Can you give me such proof? I... well, no. Only my word, Your Honor. Well, good enough for me as a man, Mr. Cassidy, but not as a judge. I'm sorry, but your request is denied. But, Your Honor... It is denied, you... Mr. Cassidy. If you persist, you will be in contempt of court. <laughs> silence! Silence! Now then, the prisoner will please rise and stand facing the bar. Thank you. It is my duty to pass sentence on you, Thomas Anders. Therefore, I now remand you back into the custody of the sheriff to be held by the sheriff till the morning of the second day hereafter, when it shall be his duty to hang you by the neck until dead. And may God have mercy on your soul. Court dismissed. Hold it, boy. Hold it. Hoppy. Hey, Hoppy, over here. Hello there, Andy. Yeah, I've been looking for you, Andy. Town's filling up with Baron's men. What do you suppose is going on? Oh, likely he believes his own guff about a jailbreak, Hoppy. Guess he sent his gun hands into town to make sure there isn't any. Oh, he's a fool. A jailbreak's out of the question. The only way we can help your brother is by finding California. Well, then there ain't much time to do it in, Hoppy. Tom hangs in less than 48 hours. But you'd be surprised how much can happen in 48 hours. I'm going out on the trail. I want to find the place where California and his horse got separated. You want to help me? Well, of course. It'll be helping Tom, won't it? Right. I'm going to round up the Bar 20 boys and go back out to Clover Creek Trail. He might have tried to get into town that way. If you want to help, you can go back over the main trail. My boys might have missed something. I'll do that. If you find anything, let me know. Sure will. Better get started, hadn't we? Right now. See you later. Let's go, Topper. Good luck, Hoppy. Fine, Mac. Oh, uh, oh, there, boy. Where are the rest of the boys? Well, I told them to scatter. They're working them draws. Well, who's this coming? Looks like Andy. Yeah, I reckon it is. He's pushing his horse kind of hard for this kind of country, ain't he? I wonder what's up. I'm hoping he's got news. Hi there, Andy. Hi. Find anything? Yeah, I found a little, Andy, but it petered out on oh, us. Oh, 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 there. Found something. What was that? Uh, Mac here found the place where California hit it tough. Mm -hmm. Looks like he saw he was going to be jumped, so he left the saddle and took the cover. Must have been some shooting, though. That's why his horse got scared off. I guess he had to give up. But where they took him, we can't find out. Followed the trail a little way, but like I said, it petered out on us. Wait a second, Hoppy. How many would you say was in that bunch that jumped him? Well, it looked to me like there must have been three of them. Wouldn't you say that, Mac? Yeah, there was three, all right. And when they left the trail, we could see where one of them was riding double. Yeah. Say, his company must have been California. Oh, but we lost them again. Then I think I know where they are. You sure of that, Andy? You know old Perkins, the, the old gaffer homesteading near the foot of the mules? Yeah, I know him. Well, well, Perkins claimed he'd seen California and three other fellas riding toward old Fort Hooker. And one of them riding double. Well, I, I thought he was loco, but, but now darned if I don't think he really saw him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
That fits. Fort Hooker's been abandoned. Should make a good hideout. Ben wouldn't let him bring him there to his place for fear of getting in trouble. Yeah, they must have took a chance of going back to the main trail. That's why we couldn't follow him. The stage come along afterwards and wiped out the sign. It fits from first to last, Mac. Andy, you got to do me a favor. What's that? Get over to the fort right away. Keep watch on it. See if you can spot California. Mac and I will round up the boys and follow right after. Oh, where will I meet you? Tinhorn Butte. That'll make a good lookout. Right. I'll get going. Come on, boy. Hurry it up. Ah, uh, we'll be there. Come on, Mac. We gotta move fast. Oh, 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 Tom. Andy. I'm glad you got here, Hoppy. They're in there. I've been keeping watch. I saw California when they locked him up. They got him in that old storehouse down there. It looks like the, like the three that grabbed him met up with at least a dozen more, Hoppy. Well, that's all right. It isn't going to stop us. We'll make our play tonight. Mac, come over here. Okay, Hoppy. Tonight? Oh, but, but, but it's only noon, Hoppy. We're wasting time. Oh, wait a minute. We get California tonight and we'll have plenty. Yeah? Make our play now in broad daylight. And for all we know, they might finish California off to shut him up. That's right. Hey, Mac, take the boys and give them stations so we'll have the fort surrounded. Right. I want to make sure those fellas down there can't slip California away without our knowing it. Now, you got that? Yep. And get going. And keep out of sight. Okay, oh, but, but, but listen, Hoppy. Don't argue, Andy. Do it my way. They haven't a chance. You got it now, boys? Yeah. Well, let's see if we have, Hoppy. Right. Now, we're to give you and Andy a ten-minute head start. That's right. That's so as you can work in close to that storehouse under cover of dark before we start doing our stuff. Good. Then we're to fake an attack, not really trying anything, just make a hullabaloo so they won't know what you're doing. That's it, Mac. You ready? You and Andy can start any time you want. We're ready right now. <laughs> time we still got? Not a ten minutes are up now. When the shooting starts, we make our play. Rush them and let them have it. No shooting. Just knock them out. Right. Well, what if the door's locked? Don't waste time. There's some timbers over there. Grab one and start busting it open. We certainly... That's it! Come on! Quick! Now! Afraid of that. Grab that tip. Right. Uh, here. All right. Fast now. Uh, uh, Give it to him. Uh, Break it down. Uh, uh, California, where are you? Calif- California. Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything. And they must have gagged him. Wait a minute. I got a match. Wait. California, where? Well, I'll be. What is it, Hoppy? What's the matter? We've been tricked. What? I don't know how they did it, but they've tricked us. Take a look for yourself. He's gone. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, California or Bus. When Hoppy and Andy Anders entered the storehouse belonging to old Fort Hooker, they found that California had vanished. And now, as they look around in bewilderment, they can hear the approach of their enemies. They're coming, Hoppy. You sure he's gone? California? Of course he is. You can see that for yourself. This place is empty. But I, I don't get it. Neither do I. All I know is we'd better be traveling or they'll get us. Come on. Where are we going? Back to Tinhorn Butte. We'll be lucky if we make it.
Well, we got here, Andy. Come here, Topper. Come on, you better get mounted. Right. Hold still, boy, now. Come on, hold still. What now, Hoppy? You know, this has wasted over half a day for us. I know it has. Time to do the hang in less than 30 hours now. Well, what about California? Ain't you worried about him? Not unless Barron's a fool. How come you figure that? What if he keeps California alive, or even if he escapes? The worst that can happen to Barron is Tom going free. But if he kills California, you'll have a murder charge hanging over him. My guess is he'll keep California alive. Well, I thought California could pin Cleet's killing on him. I told Judge Blackburn California could clear Tom. But there's a lot of difference between clearing one man and convicting another. No. Oh. But clearing Tom is good enough for me, and we'll need time for it. I'm going back to town, Andy. Well, what for? See if the sheriff won't postpone that hanging another 24 hours. I'm betting he won't. Uh, I'd bet the same way. But we need time. i got to make the try. Then we'll make another try to find California. But how? W where is he? W where are we going to look for him? No place. Huh? We've tried and failed. Now we'll try the other way around. What do you mean? We couldn't find California, Andy. But maybe California can find us. What? I... Never mind explanations now, Andy. I got to get going. You stay here and wait for the boys. Tell them where I've gone, will you? Oh, yeah, yeah, but I. See I... you later. Come on, Topper. Let's go. Sheriff Cassidy, I want to talk to you. Hurry, open up, will you? Well, just a second. Come in, Hoppy. What do you want? I hated to wake you like this, Sheriff, but I had to see you. Judge Blackburn refused to delay sentencing Tom. Now I'm asking you to delay executing that sentence. Oh, Hoppy, you know I'm on your side. I've told you so, but I can't do a thing like that, and you know it. Why not? Well, no authority for it. That's why not. Give I us just... just 24 hours. It's a matter of life and death. I can't give you one. But if No you... use keeping on about it. No, just can't... Hey, Tarnation. Now, who is this coming? Seems like there's more folks up and around at three in the morning than there is in the daytime. Yeah. Who is it? Tommy! Well, that's Mac. Here I am, Mac. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta see you, fellas. Both of you. I... I got bad news for you both. Mac, what is it? Hoppy, I, I hate to say this, but California's dead. No, he isn't. He can't be, Mac. What, what Sorry, you... Hoppy, but it's a fact. Baron killed him. Hey, wait, he... wait, wait a second. Baron killed him, you say? You you got proof of that? Shorty Saunders will give you your proof, Sheriff. He's seen it happen. He did? Fact is, Baron tried to kill him. Left him for dead. He's at the bar 20 now. He is? Well, how he dragged himself there, I'll never know, but... Hey, hey wait, uh, can he talk? Well, sure he can. He told me... All right, me... then. Then I'm going to get out there. You fellas wait here. I'm going to dress. I'll be back immediately. You know what you're saying, Crump? Are you sure of that? The sheriff thinks California's dead? From what I heard, he's got Shorty Saunders' word for it, Mr. Barron. And he thinks I killed him? That's what I heard, Mr. Barron. It's a lie. They're framing me. Sure. But what are you going to do about it? I don't know. got to think this out. Where's the sheriff now, Crump? Is he coming here? I don't think so. I, I think he was heading back to town first. That Cassidy's behind this. I'll bet a million that dirty... Wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Now, let me think here. Say, you know, Crump, maybe this isn't so bad. <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> you know, I know a little bit more about what's going on than Cassidy thinks I do. I got an idea that this time he's played right into my hand. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Yes, sir, he has. And now, by thunder, I'll break him. <laughs> Here's the, here's the office, Hoppy. Right. I'll open up. Yeah. Come on, Andy. You come in, too. 
We got things to figure out. There, go on in. Yeah. Uh, don't need a lamp, I guess. It's getting light. Now, uh, what do you figure we ought to do about this, Hoppy? Well, if I were you, I'd get right out to Baron's place and put him under arrest. Yeah, first off, you'd say so, but that's a long ways. And what if he ain't at his headquarters place? I don't suppose you fellows are forgetting I still got a hanging to take care of tomorrow morning, are you? Confound it, Sheriff. You mean to say that after this you're still figuring on going through with that? When I arrest Baron, it'll be for killing California. Tom was arrested for killing Cleet Mapes. Ain't the same thing. I don't know if they're even connected. Listen, Sheriff, I... Excuse me. Maybe I can help you fellas out. What, what is Baron? The... Baron. He... You left the door open. So, with the way you were talking, I could hardly help hearing what you said. You won't have to come clear out to my place to arrest me, Sheriff. You can do it right here. I will. I'm arresting you here and now. For California's murder? What else? Well, I wouldn't be too hasty about it if I were you. Suppose I could prove that this is a trumped-up case against me. Suppose I could prove that it had been trumped up and Cassidy was behind it. What then? That ain't neither here nor there. There it is. You haven't answered my question, Sheriff. I'll answer you for the sake of argument. If Cassidy pulled a stunt like that, I'd jail him quick. Just as quick as I'm going to jail you. You'd better wait a minute. All right, bring him in, Crump. Okay, boss. Come on, California. Ah, there, California. Hello, California. I'm sure glad to see you. Well, there goes your case, Sheriff. What do you do now? What I said I'd do. Better tell your boys the Bar 20 won't see you for a spell, Hoppy. You're under arrest. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. You hurt me, didn't you, Hoppy? You're under arrest. <laughs> yeah, I heard you, Sheriff. But it looks to me like this is one of your tough days. None of your arrests seem to stick very well. I sure am glad to see you, though, California. But I'm not surprised. As a matter of fact, I've been expecting you. Huh? Uh, you have, Hoppy? Sure. That's what this whole thing was for. I couldn't find you... So I thought I'd turn things around and let Baron bring you to me. That's got a funny sound to it, Hoppy. You'd better explain yourself. Nothing I'd rather do, Baron. You see, I want you to hang in Tom's place. What's that? You heard me. That's why I used this crooked friend of yours to bring you and California in here. Hey, now. You were looking right at me when you said that. What do you think... Was I, Andy? Well, I guess that's because I meant you when I said it. Why, you... Don't try to lie out of it, Andy. I've been on you ever since we raided that fort and found California wasn't in it. So do you... So what do you think that proved? You said California was in there, that you'd seen him. I placed my men so that I know he couldn't have been taken away. So as far as I'm concerned, it proves you lied to me. (laughs) That's what you say. Uh Uh-huh, that's what I say. That's also the reason I let you think California's testimony would clear Tom, but wouldn't convict Baron. Oh. So that you'd tell Baron that, and he wouldn't be afraid to bring California in here. What's California know about me? Just that you killed Cleet, that's all, Baron. I've seen you do it. You're lying. Like blazes, I am. I can point out the very spot. You can? Yeah, it was up in our north range, Sheriff. I've been up there alone the last couple of months. Baron killed Cleet. Then he and Andy picked him up and moved him to where you found him. Well, why didn't you report this? Well, uh, I've been having bad luck with horses. The horse I had up there stepped in a gopher hole and broke its leg. Oh, too bad. It was too far to travel anywhere as foot, so uh, the first I could get word out was when Shorty Saunders showed up with supplies for me. Shorty brought me word, Sheriff Hanley, and I rode into town to tell Tom he didn't have to worry. Fred, I did pull one fast one on you, though, Sheriff. Huh? <laughs> Shorty wasn't shot up like you thought. That was just bandages and a lot of red ink. Now, you shouldn't have done that to me, Hoppy. It's the only way I could smoke Baron out. I protected myself by telling Judge Blackburn what I was going to do ahead of time. You wanted to protect yourself, Hoppy. That was the wrong way. What the... You hey... You kept your eyes on me. Now get your hands up. I'll... No! You... Ah! Good work, California. Hope you didn't break his skull. <laughs> I kind of hope I did. Uh, but if he wanted to protect himself, he should have kept his eyes on me. Well, there's your prisoner, Sheriff Handley. Thanks, Hoppy. You've done a real slick piece of work. Ah, uh, crooks are fools, Handley. Yeah, guess they are. That's what makes it so easy to catch them. You can fool them so easy. 
Well, that brings to a close the exciting story, California or Bust. Hoppy's next adventure is called Death Comes Invited, and it begins in eastern Nevada near the town of Franklin. It involves a savage ambush and a murder. Don't miss it. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr., California or Bust was written by Gibson Scott Fox with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>